iPhone 13 has a new cinematic mode in the camera app, but I want to show you why as a filmmaker, I think it's completely set up wrong. And every iPhone 13 has this option inside a camera. Let me go in here and cinematic mode is next to video mode. So you still have the regular video mode, but the cinematic mode basically lets you have control over one thing, which is your f-stop. So let me press f-stop here and you could change the depth of field of the camera by your f-stop. So the higher this f-stop goes, the more things are going to be in focus. You see everything is in focus here pretty much. But if I go all the way this way to f2, you could see the depth of field basically changes. So things are going to be in focus in the foreground and blurry in the background. But if you record, this is the messed up part about this. This records in 1080p at 30 frames. If I go back to video mode, so this is cinematic, this is video mode. Video mode, if you tap up here, shoots at 4K at 30 frames or 24 frames. And cinema cameras like this do have this f-stop setting as well. So I could go from 1.5 all the way to f22 and it will basically make things more blurry in the background or less blurry in the background. But the other important things about cinema cameras and 100 year history of cinema is everything is made in 24 frames per second, not the 30 frames per second that the Apple cinema mode has. And cameras like this shoot in 4K and 6K resolution and they're not locked to 1080p. Apple cinema mode on the iPhone is locked on 1080p at 30 frames per second. I don't know why they did that.